Hello. For our opening song today, we will be singing Lord who throughout who throughout these 40 days. Please join in at home singing as well. Lord who throughout these 40 days for us did fast and pray, teach us with you to mourn our sins and close by you to stay. As you with Satan did content and did the victory win. Oh, give us strength in you to fight, in you to conquer sin. As you did hunger, bear and thirst, so teach us, gracious Lord, to die to self and always live by your most holy word. And through these days of penitence, and through your passion tide, forevermore in life and death, O Lord, with us abide. Abide with us that when this life of suffering is past, and Easter of unending joy we may attain at last. And let us gather together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries today, let us call to mind our own sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the right side. Then, when he had walked off to the east with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits and had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand and once more had me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again he measured off a thousand and had me weighed. The water was up to my waist. Once more he measured off a thousand, but there was now a river through which I could not wade, for the water had risen so high it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, Have you seen this, son of man? And he brought me to the bank of the river where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river I saw very many trees on both sides. He said to me, This water into the eastern district down upon Arab, and empties into the sea the salt waters which makes it fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish, for whenever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. 
Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength, and ever-present help in distress. Therefore we fear not, though the earth be shaken, and the mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. There is a stream whose runtless gladden the guard the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst. It shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding thing he has wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. A clean heart create for me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem, at the Sheep Gate, a pool called in Hebrew Bethsaida with five porticos. In these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for thirty-eight years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat and walked. Now that day was the Sabbath, so the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and is it not lawful for you to carry your mat? He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is this man who told you, Take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin anymore, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore the Jews began to persecute Jesus, because he did this on a Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Could possibly say no to Jesus. In today's gospel reading, Jesus encounters this man crippled for most of his life and asks him one question Do you want to be well? But the man doesn't answer yes. Instead, he explains why he has been unable to get these healing water, the effect of these healing waters. And he says the other people, they keep getting in his way. So Jesus, in effect, brings these healing waters to him. 
with one simple command. Jesus says, rise, pick up your mat and walk. And so this man does. This is probably one of the most briefest and most, the most uh, the simplest miracles in all the Gospels. But it's packed with all sorts of significance for us. Lent reminds us that all of us, in one way or another, we are crippled. We are human. We are stubbornly, painfully imperfect. We may be crippled by fear, insecurity, or sin. We may be crippled by bad habits, or pettiness, or our ego, or our greed. But we want to get to another place. We want to move on from all of the stuff that's holding us back. But perhaps sometimes we may think others get in the way. Perhaps we may find ourselves frustrated by our weaknesses. But Jesus today offers us a moment of redemption and of hope. If we want to be well, he can make it so. He brings us his healing word. Lent is the season we're in right now, and it's a season for a time for listening to Christ's call in our lives. Do we want to be well? Do we want to rise, take our mats, and walk? Whatever may be holding us back right now, whatever may be crippling us, Christ offers us today this word of encouragement and healing. Do we want to be well? Who could possibly say no to something like that? Coming before our Lord in prayer, we humbly ask that he grant all of our petitions. We pray for the church throughout the world, that as, it, that as we are separated today, we may become united together in Christ in prayer. We pray to the Lord, Lord, through our prayer. We pray for all people throughout the world who are struggling with isolation, with depression or loneliness. We pray that... We pray that through our prayers and through our ministry, through our kindness, they may see the love of Christ in the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick, all those who are suffering this day. We pray that they may be healed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are on the front lines of this illness, of the coronavirus. We pray for all of those in grocery stores. We pray for all of law enforcement. We pray for all delivery people, um, all truckers, and all those who keep, who keep our lives uh, running in a good way. We pray for their health and safety and strength. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. And on this day, uh, we pray for all of the intentions in our parish book of intentions and for all the intentions you hold in your heart. And also for this Mass, we pray for Joni Kilburn. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have gone before us in peace, all those who have died or will die today. We pray that they may enjoy the eternal life with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask and pray that you grant all of these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you have yourself bestowed, that they attest, may they attest to your care as creator, for this our mortal life, and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feasts with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, 
and Michael our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer for spiritual communion. Precious Jesus, although I greatly desire it, at this moment I am unable to receive you in the most holy Eucharist. Therefore I beseech you, O Lord, to bestow upon me mystically all those graces I would otherwise receive. Fill me up until I am overflowing, so that I may in turn share those graces with the rest of the world. Amen.
Let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament, that we may find help for our bodies, now and likewise in times to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just want to thank you for joining me again today for Mass. Um, again, please, please be sure of my prayers for all of you. Um, just to let you know, our Archbishop uh, did, did decide to, um, uh, so for this Friday and for next Friday, he did decide to uh, um, cancel our obligation for, uh, or get rid of our obligation to, to abstain from meat on Friday. So the next two Fridays, actually, we can eat meat um, if, it is, if it is an issue for yourself. Um, you know, going to the grocery store may be difficult for a lot of people and receiving that and uh, get, getting meat, for, getting uh, fish and other supplies can be a challenge. So your obligation to abstain from meat these next two Fridays are, are uh, no longer in effect, but the obligation still, still is in effect for a Good Friday. The Lord be with you, and let us pray for God's blessing. Grant, O merciful God, that your people may remain always devoted to you, and may constantly receive from your kindness whatever is good, whatever is for their good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. And for our closing song today, we will sing Led by the Spirit for our closing song. Led by the Spirit of our God, we go to fast and pray. With Christ into the wilderness, we join his paschal way. Rend not your garments, rend your hearts, turn back your lives to me. Thus says our kind and gracious God, whose reign is liberty. Led by the Spirit, we confront temptation face to face. And know full well we, we must rely on God's redeeming grace. On bread alone we cannot live, but nourished by the Word. We seek the will of God to do, this is our drink and food. Led by the Spirit, now draw near the waters of rebirth. With hearts that long to worship God in spirit and in truth. Whoever drinks the drink I give shall never thirst again. Thus says the Lord who died for us, our Savior, kin, and friend. Led by the Spirit, now sing praise to God the Trinity, the source of life, the living Word, made flesh to set us free. The Spirit blowing where it will to make us friends of God. This mystery far beyond our reach, yet near 